Okay. Ach, six canatani. Pleasant dawn. It is the early AM of. Did you hear that? That Sochsisimstan, the western meadow lark. They're still around. Won't be hearing those songs for too much longer. Yeah. It is Thursday, my favorite day of the week. September 14th, I believe, 2023. And there was no crescent of moon this morning. I've been up a couple of hours. So I was up well before the sunlight started to brighten anything and no moon. So we are in the, the no moon period and within a couple of nights there's going to be a first crescent and that is our last summer moon coming in. Awakasiki, some the deer moon. When the deer, you know, the ungulates in general, deer and bison and all of them go into their rut. So it was supposed to be a run day for me. I've been trying to run every other morning. But when I ran on Tuesday morning, I, um, sorry, I'm distracted because there's just the sage is looking just beautiful this morning both sides of the path. Um, yeah, when I ran on Tuesday, I only did six kilometers, but I felt my, in the last kilometer, I really felt tight in my right calf, which scares me. I almost stopped the run, you know, and walked home because um, I'm afraid of tearing that muscle. That's the area where I lost the tendon behind the muscle. It's still back there somewhere, um, never to be reattached. And I tore both of those muscles, in, large mus muscles in my calf um, pretty badly, such that I couldn't even think about running for six months. And then when I gave it another try, it tore again right away. So I uh, now I've given it probably a good year and I really want to run again. I'm a natural runner, but I'm starting to be afraid that that, that leg injury, it just sealed my running days and maybe it's time to just walk from now on, you know, I don't know. Running is hard on the joints and stuff too, but there's nothing like it, you know for good cardio exercise and if you can run like 40 minutes between 40 minutes and an hour three four times a week those people that do that live 10 years longer than their peers on average so I'd love to give get my running legs back but on Tuesday yeah like I say I felt very tight and but I made it home, you know, at six kilometers. And then I, uh, you know, took a break yesterday. And last night, you know, my leg was still, like I can feel it even now. I can feel my calf muscle just a little bit tight. And uh, so I decided, well, rather than run today, I'm just gonna give it another day's rest, see how I feel about running on it tomorrow. I don't want to tear it because that will set me back months, you know, um, maybe forever. So I don't want to, I don't want to tear it. I want to take it easy. So I figured rather than running today, we're going to come explore down here at uh, what they call Cottonwood Park. Um, it's where the, it's where the, the belly and 
the belly and the crosses river um, otherwise known as the old man and saint mary's river can join what was that word that uh, we learned in the winter to call that where they come together hey where they come together oh there's a couple of mule deer does or maybe this year's fawns just down here oh they're moms with them yeah it's two fawns and a mom you probably can't see oh no there's even more than that i don't know they're running off now the little ones <laughs> um, yeah so rather than run today we'll come down and explore I'm gonna oh I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some film here hold on dang they've split up but this is two little bucks here and they were just button heads in front of me, which is exactly what we're talking about with Awakatsuki from the Deer Moon. They're going into their rut. He's probably tearing velvet off of his antlers right now, or trying to. Do they look bloody? I can't tell with my little window of view I get to look at with this camera. Let's see if they'll butt heads again. Because they weren't going at it hard. He might just even be budding to try to rip that velvet off at this point. Here we go. Something scared the two little ones. That frightened these guys, damn. But you see what I mean? This is exactly what this moon is talking about. Awakatsuki, so... Alright, let's go see what else is going on in the park. Thought it might be worth noting some of the last of the flowers. Color in the coolies right now. This is Canada Goldenrod. And... I've also been seeing gumweed, oxby. It's an example here, but it's just one flower on the plant. But there's other plants that have a few flowers still open. Oxby. These are, of course, our last of the summer flowers. This is a plant I don't even know the name of, embarrassingly. I see it a lot on the, on the trail. It kind of grows flat, like a rug. It's got these little lavender flowers. I wonder how many petals it's got on each of these flowers. I'm going to have to look this up when I get home. Because I'm embarrassed not to know the name. I think they got five petals. I'm not sure.
But yeah, I'll find it now that I have my library back anyway. Figure it out. And uh, probably end up having to give it a Blackfoot name because I'm sure if it had one, I would know that plant. Atakai. Hey, Robin. <laughs> Again, it's real hard for me to see in my little screen. I hear lots of birds. Yeah, I think, uh, Oh, who's that? Embarrassed when I can't identify bird sounds too. Get my shit together. Such a beautiful forest. I'm gonna change to my wide lens so you can appreciate it more better. going to be a colorful moon as we move into it. You can see the leaves on the choke cherries are transitioning to red. Still lots of good cherries. In fact, as someone pointed out in the, the video when I was harvesting a week or so back, um, they taste even sweeter after the frost. Leaves on the cottonwoods are transitioning to yellow, but there's still a lot of green. So to the milkweed, which has dispersed seeds from a lot of its pods already, but there's still some plants with pods yet to open. We're going to explore through here off trail in a few minutes. there in a half hour or so. I think first I want to go straight to the river and greet the beavers. They may still be awake.
I've been visiting this park so long that I remember walking through here when these trees were not much higher than my head. These saplings that once were saplings now are growing pretty tall. to the river now. Ops Benny were calling out an alarm as I appeared on the cut bank here. Everybody knows exactly where I'm at. It's the beaver lodge down this way. I'm gonna go take a look. Well, the geese have decided to amscray. Well, the Xisk Stucky comes to check me out. He's probably not going to be happy. right here in front of me now. Sniffing the air. Trying to figure me out. Thought about calling out to him, but I don't want to spook him. So far, no slap. See if he lets me continue toward his lodge without slapping. Kind of doubt it. Proceed slowly. Sniffing, tasting that air.
surprised. Seems to be letting me pass. This is a pretty established lodge here. Um, it was a, it was put in place while I was still living in Riverstone, so that's at least since I would say 2014. So it's got to be 10-year-old lodge. Before that, I think this family was lodged right at the turn of the river up there, near the cliffs. It's a good oxbow area with a lot of willow and it was flooded for a time and they were using it. And I think uh, once it was dry for a certain period and that was done. You can see where old beaver lodges have caved in, or some of the compartments anyway. Yeah, the beavers go on into the lodge. I'm not gonna go walk on the lodge itself and be rude, but I might go down on the shore here and see if there's any nice uh, little willow sticks to add to my willows that I gathered the other day, making my new stick count calendar and all. I need a couple of crescents for the first and last crescents of the moon. Here's some little white flowers. These are tufted white prairie aster. Spearmint might have uh, flowers on it still, but it doesn't. about as close as I can get without walking on the lodge itself. Not, not a too much for fresh sticks, unfortunately. And no food cache that I can see as yet. All right, let's head back into the forest. This is hairy yellow aster. We had tufted white prairie aster. This is hairy yellow aster. A couple of the plants that are usually the last flowering. I wish I knew more of my grasses. Like I don't even know what this grass is. This predominant grass out here on the flat. Oh, it's a bird of prey it's carrying something away. I missed it. Could have got it with the other camera if I saw it beforehand. He might have been perched up in a tree up here or something as I approached. That's what I get for keeping my head down too much. <laughs>
Cuckoo. Got a dove down here. Is that a rock dove? And of course, the ever present starlings. <laughs> Some of them will stay the winter. Off trail as promised. This is a nice big diamond willow, mature diamond willow. Get a look at it here. I'm just curious if there was any sap suckers around this year. There were should see some sap sucker activity on these diamond willows. A lot of the branches are actually dead. It's been too dry. This oxbow floods with water when the river floods, but we haven't had a good river flood for a while. We would, but um, the waters are retained behind, behind uh, the dams, St. Mary's Dam, Waterton Dam, Old Man River Dam, and they're very careful about making sure agriculture has what they need, not necessarily these natural areas. See here some evidence of old sapsucker activity on here, but Nothing new as yet, and I don't think there will be with how dry these trees are. This is the kind of willow that people make those nice walking sticks out of. But you have to get them fresh. Not all dry like this. It's also the willow used to make most sweat lodges.
going to start my climb back up to the vehicle now. This could be the end of the video. If I don't see anything interesting between here and the top of the coulee that I haven't already pointed out. <coughs> Starting to feel warm now too. Good time to head her up. Oh, oh, I think these uh, big sage brush have still yellow flowers on them. Hey. Sagebrush flat has a little bit of color. Didn't notice that from the other side. Oh. Time to climb. <laughs> 